Crosslinking causes intracellular damage. The formation and accumulation of advanced glycation end products has been implicated in the progression of age-related diseases, like cancer. The mechanism by which age is induced damage is through a process called crosslinking that causes intracellular damage and apoptosis, leading to inflammation. Large age proteins are unable to enter the Bowman's capsule are capable of binding to receptors on endothelial cells and to a mesangel matrix. The activation of age induces production of a variety of cytokines, including TNF, leading to inflammation. Since TNF is involved with cancer, evaluation and treatment of age excesses may play a role in other disease states that cause cancer. Although the only form suitable for urinary excretion, the breakdown products of age, age peptides, and age-free adducts are more aggressive than their age proteins from which they are derived, and can perpetuate related pathology in diabetic patients, even after hyperglycemia has been brought under control, since perpetuation may result through their oxidative effects. Concurrent treatment with antioxidants, may help to stem the vicious cycle. Adding sugar is toxic. In diabetics, suffering from increased age production, subsequent kidney damage reduces the subsequent urinary removal of ages, forming a feedback loop and increasing the rate of damage. A 1997 study concluded that adding sugar to egg whites causes diabetics to be 200 times more age immune or reactive stressing the need for low sugar and carbohydrate diets.